While the auto industry pushes technologies forward and more drivers are becoming aware of their carbon footprint on the earth, the future is beginning to look promising. People are realistically thinking about buying all electric vehicles, and even the doubtful are noticing that hybrid vehicles could play into their favor. And even though cars aren't flying yet and there still is an autopilot feature, what's important is that we're making progress, and lots of it. So let's take a look at what electric and hybrid vehicles are and what kind of benefits we can expect to get out of them. First, an electric car is exactly that, a car that runs purely on electricity. They require no oil and leave no emissions, making them extremely environmentally friendly. They can be amazingly energy efficient and get triple the amount of energy to the wheels than a regular engine. In addition, because the car needs no transmission, the vehicle produces maximum torque from zero RPM. So why isn't everyone driving an electric car? Well, the truth is, like anything with a battery, they've got to be frequently recharged. Any miscalculation on the length of charge could leave you and your passengers stuck on the side of the road without a way to recharge. So if getting stuck on the side of the road sounds like a deal breaker, you might want to take a look at a hybrid. Powered by two separate sources, an electric motor and a traditional gas engine, hybrid cars run more efficiently and get more miles per gallon than gas-powered cars. Plus, their batteries recharge on their own. The braking system redirects energy to the electric motor, and the electric motor acts as an auxiliary source when the vehicle drives at slower speeds and is stopped. The hybrid power combination offers consumers the best of both an electric car and a conventional gas fuel vehicle. Although hybrids get better mileage and produce fewer emissions than traditional gas vehicles, they do come with a bigger price tag. Furthermore, hybrid vehicles have parts that are fairly uncommon and could require a specialized mechanic, making trips to the dealer frequent and expensive. Overall, whether contemplating about electric or hybrid vehicles, they still share some of the same advantages and disadvantages. Inadequate infrastructure, lack of charging stations, short range and increased charging time are just a few issues that will need to be addressed if we're going to make the shift away from gas engines. I'm Jerry Reynolds, The Car Pro.